Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenerza Human, and welcome back to our Timurid campaign. You join us as we've launched our assaults on the Venetians. Yes, the Venetian fiends. We're trying to um, keep the Byzantines our friends and trying to slowly befriend the Hungarians. We've just given a little bit of money. Our relations are now up to poor, which um, is a bit of a result, <laughs> relatively speaking. We did a pretty terrible um, relations. So that's not too bad. We're up to poor now. They're fairly reliable, so we're going to hope. Having that common ally in the Byzantines and these common enemies in the uh, Venetians helps us along. So yeah, it's certainly this war with Venice is going to be helping on the diplomatic front. Um, our plan today, our plan today, we're going to go take Heraklion and Corinth. We're going to walk straight into those now. And we're going to move on to Thessalonica. I can't immediately see any particular armies around, but I don't have a proper spy. I have a lot of assassins, actually. So she should probably really go and sort that out. I do have a spy in this town because they've opened up the gate. So we'll go and send him up the coast to Durazo, which is a bit of a strange town, by the way, because this isn't actually in the game files at all. It's just kind of, um, yeah, this is why it's such a small, tiny, insignificant town. It isn't actually on that list of buildings. It isn't even under the rebel section. So a bit bizarre, but that's why that's so particularly terrible. Um, I think I slightly improved it for Venetians on my setup of this game. Now, obviously, Thessalonica needs to fall too. There are a few troops in there, and I imagine they will have sorted out some sort of um, response by the time we get to that point. They do have armies in Tunis as well. Worth we'll noting that they have that. I don't think that they don't have Sicily, and they don't. Only the Spanish have Sardinia, and Corsica is under Milanese or Genoese rule. Um, and elsewhere, oh yes, of course, we have... The Egyptians to take care of today. We're just going to siege this one out. They've got a lot of experience on these chaps. Albeit they are a little bit drained down. That's quite a few bits of siege equipment. But defending the city, siege equipment is very strong. I know traditionally you'd think of it for attacking. But actually using them in defence. You just hold them at the gate and shoot a ballist. Better ballist than the catapult. But um, just shoot into the side of them as they come in the gate. It is a magnificent bit of work. It is a great way of defending a city or a castle with just about two or three units. A couple of infantry and a ballista can um, cause mass routes. It is magnificent. This army here is also around. Again, we've got no experience, but it's, um, you know, not bad forces. We've got some decent armour on them, if nothing else, and they're effective against armour. So uh, we're not looking too shabby around here. And pretty much all our leaders are now picking up fine armour because we have... Yeah, you need to get it soon, sir. I think you've just arrived. But, uh, yeah, they picked up fine armour from all of our great... Um, what you might call it, we've got tons of great armories around the map, so they're doing us some good work. Um, now, <laughs> I want to get an assassin just to go and take out all these guys. It'd be a good place to train one up, actually. Um, maybe this guy. Maybe you can head down here. We'll, um, we'll get a boat to pick you up in good time. This boat over here has three boats. Yeah, we'll pick up a unit card because I can't click, apparently. It will go someone back over towards Rhodes. That would be lovely. So, let's start in by attacking Heraklion. I do always enjoy. Create the gates are open. Uh, 76. And, yeah, we will storm into this town nice and easy, I think. I'm going to actually head in and do this battle myself because I don't want to auto resolve all of them. Nice to keep up um, a bit of, bit of fun in the cities, particularly when you overwhelm them so ridiculously. Let's hit him. Well, I don't know what these lads want to do, if they're just going to stand around and get shot or come and join us, but normally Italian spear militia are pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, the Italian militias are pretty strong, and before experience they could do an awful lot of damage, but I think they're going to get wasted over here, shooting them with uh, Mongolian saboteur militia. Mongolian, apparently. Uh, saboteur militia, who are grand couple up on the walls behind. Got them a little bit of a trap. If they want to come in, we'll nefert them and javelin them to death. And hit them with our halberds and our spears. Doesn't really seem necessary today, but we might as well have a look at these guys in battle. I do love a magnificent halberd axe. They are great. Kind of mixed between spears and also between being effective against armour. Axes, of course. Normally a bit later in the game. Um, we get them earlier on because with the Timurids we're kind of ahead of the curve in that sense. Now, I did see someone comment about us having elephants. Um, I've looked into it. I can actually get them at the higher levels. Um, I don't believe there's any resource for elephants on this game, so I should just be able to recruit them out of a high enough level. Um, I don't know if it's just the Citadel. I think it's still with stables. I can't remember. 
we'll, uh, we'll check back on that very, very soon. But it is certainly something that I can do. So I might try and rush to that before too long. But we've got a little bit of work to do with Venice first and foremost. We'll turn this up to full. It doesn't look like they're going to walk into the trap. It looks like they're just going to get themselves shot to death. Um, very noble of them, but not particularly uh, of interest, sadly. Although, the, obviously, the advantage of this means that we don't smash down the town. We can keep the money. Um, obviously, when you order resolve with, like, one unit, you still, for some reason, smash up half the town. Which is a bit irritating. But um, we've managed to do it without any losses, of course, because no one has got themselves killed today. Um, actually, I've been playing quite a lot of the Slavic campaign recently, playing for a load of that to f try and get towards the end of that in one go. It can get a bit confusing when I jump between the two campaigns. Um, but of course, yes, these towers don't do anything to me unless they stand there, so that is marvellous. He can indeed, he can indeed. Um, these two look very confident now, don't they? We're really bad at hitting them. Really, really terrible. One day we might knock them out. But uh, yes, elephants should be able to be gotten at the higher, higher stables, so we're going to go and Search that out in a minute once we kill these last two. Maybe we'll just send this general in to go and do some work. Come on, sir. Come and do your job. Great Khan. Our men are in command of the city. Yeah, the we ploughed like them quite easily in the men. end. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. And with that, 76 dead. None lost on our part. But the world to remember as his sense is only about to accomplish. Ah, good Portuguese chap over there. Lovely. And Araculon has fallen to us. I'm going to go with Sack. I feel like that's the best option with us. So, a big pot of money is always nice. Araculon, large city, 20,000 population. Okay, this army might be staying here for a couple turns while we sort this out. Shisha Den, of course. And the Mashid. We're, we're, is that like a 1%? Um, yeah, that's 1% uh, little 8 florins. Um little decrease there on the price. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? I suppose it's better than nothing. Tons of Venetian cardinals and priests to assassinate. So, oh, we don't, we can't assassinate them yet. Well, we're going to get the Shisha Den to go and do that. So, we'll get on with that in good time. And, yes, that works for me. Let's just get myself another spy. I think that will be useful. So, we'll just leave one boat here. The other one can go and drop off the spy. Can he make it anywhere? He can just make it there. So, he might... Oh, that's the boat's problem. Okay, that's fine. We'll send the spy onwards. He can go towards Durazzo. And very poor relationship with Poland. Oh. Durazzo, by the way, a lovely pizza there. Um, <laughs> that's my memory of visiting there. On day Albania, of course. It's a nice little beach town just outside the capital. Can't argue with that. Uh, and what else is there to do? Corinth. Straight into Corinth. Same kind of just here. Mercenary crossbowmen and peasants. They might actually do a bit of damage, actually, if they're on the walls. Um, yep, Ushkan of Andijan here, who is a pretty decent general, all things considered, it seems. Got himself a magnificent army. We'll head in, we'll take him out. This will be the second one down. It'd be nice to have ourselves a citadel too. This is a little bit of a different kettle of fish, actually, because we are taking on a fortress. I'm not sure we've taken on a fortress yet. We've taken on some early castles, of course. Um, they're not going to be defending the walls, so we're just going to have a to shoot down the gate and walk on in. But yes, uh, we've just got the first set of walls here, and then as we go forward, we get the second set of walls. Obviously, drawing you along the uh, the path around the town to put you into the second set of gates. And yeah, I do love these little little bridges over here, which are magnificent. And then obviously, you've got to defend. They got to take us on the plaza with the towers potentially if they activate them. Now, to my mind, these aren't the best ones. Because um, you don't, it's harder to activate them. With this, I think the Northern European castles are particularly good, and you can get some really nice ones. Um, how are you doing with this gate, by the way? Are you managing to achieve anything? I don't know, to be honest. Let's go and check that they're actually doing something useful. But of course, yes, we've got to take down a proper castle here, and I do realise we haven't actually got any equipment. So we just the ballista shoot it down. So slight issue. It's got to be a little bit slow, but that's fine. We'll skip on to the action. Simple solution, get up right up close and absolutely demolish it from this distance. This will be a lot easier, I think. And if I'm not mistaken, ballistas should be able to continue through. Otherwise, we can't win this battle, so I'm not sure why it would have let me start it. Uh, yeah, always make sure you've got enough to actually succeed. Sometimes if you turn up with one ram, it burns down. You just lose the battle straight away. So, uh, yeah, we'll send our ballista through onto the second gate. Start taking that out too. 
Worth bearing in mind that on Medieval 2, of course, these towers are not going to actually turn to us. So whilst we can make sure they're not shooting at us, we can't actually get them to shoot at them, unfortunately. Because obviously something I do quite a lot on Rome to Wall or Barbarian Invasion. Just going to take down these guys who are annoyingly quite well protected, actually. Um, just where they're standing under the arch. So hopefully these guys get a nice straight shot into them. We won't lose too many, but they can continue to shoot for the moment. And we'll just get our hellbred lads into a nice position behind the house there. Maybe keep them as safe as possible. They really have got themselves the best possible position, haven't they? Uh, but unless these lads decide to shoot straight, they really um, they really can't be hit. Although they don't really do any damage to us either. Um, and to be honest, the general is about to run in and murder them any time now. Any time now, please. That'd be grand. They don't really know why I'm spending all my time shooting at them. Just send the general in. Do your job, please. No charge on him, unfortunately, because he wasn't very useful. We lost a few archers, about three. I can't really complain too much. Can these archers actually shoot here? If not, then that's fine. You guys just stop what you're doing. Don't shoot at me, please. You lads, please actually just shoot those peasants since you can hit them. You might as well go and do that. Yeah, you can see how um, how effective the uh, the little design of these fortresses are. You can imagine with the citadel on the with three levels, that this starts to get ridiculous. Indeed, it is amazing how few troops you need to defend a citadel. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully get to that at some point in this campaign. That is, those lads gone. The peasants might want to take us on, but I don't think they are likely to. Uh, we'll, we'll get ourselves set up. Ah! I was worried that the one random crossbow managed to kill us. Yay! He gets to have wine. Well, that's nice of us, isn't it? We're just going to get a chap set up over here. See if we can get a charge in on these peasants. That will be lovely, won't it? We'll see however many of them are left for the charge. Let's get ourselves nice and straight set up. It's always good to get a full charge in on some peasants. It's a nice mismatch, of course. Stop what you're doing. Just start wandering. You've got a much better chance of the charge working, I think. There isn't quite enough room to stretch it out there. Now you lads try as well. We should get the lances down. We're down a hill. Yep, here we go. 56. And they are down, 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 down to 30. Not the best charge in the world. They actually got a charge in as well. So that's not a bad job. These two can just do the job themselves at this point. We'll watch all of the Steves of Venice fall beneath our sword. Our enemy is no more. Clear victory. Clear victory today. And uh, just a few casualties sustained. Two to how pretty got shot by Aaron Ballista, I think. Actually, those three. They were very foolish. Apart from that, though, we are absolutely fine. And with that, that is another Venetian fortress going down. Um, that'd be three of their cities in two turns, I think. So another one to be sacked. Give us a big bucket of money. And trade increase for you. You gain some dreadiness. And you're on the dread side. Um, generally speaking, I prefer to have chivalry. It does tend to help a lot more in terms of just the population growth. But dread is useful. If nothing... Ooh, up to Citadel now. That'd be marvellous. Can I get my elephants here? No. Okay, worth knowing. Um... Yeah, Dread's worth it though, just for the enemy morale break, but not in that particular kind of battle. Now, stables, stables, stables. So, at the, yes, so at Sultan Stables, when I'm up to Citadel, I can get, yeah, I can get Sultan Stables, which can give me some elephants. Then I get artillery, artillery elephants, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get those even without the artillery thing having been triggered. I think we are immune to that trick. I'm not 100% sure. I think that's true. In fact, we'll, we'll get the uh, Mashid first, please. That'd be grand, and then we'll head straight onto that. We don't really need to retrain, even if uh, we're able to. Um, now, what do I want to do in terms of this? I might just leave one unit of these behind. Still happy enough, which, uh, you know, is kind of typical for a castle. I might actually just top that lad up and leave those 57 in there as well. Just there's something there. And we can start heading this army up towards Thessalonica. Or Thessaloniki, as it would be in the Greek. So, Imperial Hello. Navy, nothing on it. Hungarian we Navy. Not. We are not here for a fight. No, you're not. You are not. You're my friends now, remember? You're my friends. 
So with um, several ports having gone, well, flip over to us, they should be able to produce a lot less ships in this area. And we're pretty much left with whatever's left here. Doesn't look like there's many around. I was, yeah, I did have that blockaded, didn't I? I thought the Hungarians were doing it too, but I might just be in their way. So I'll politely move out of the way for them. And okay, so Thessalonica is now on its way to going. I've already assassinated a merchant this turn, I think. It's quite a good one. It's about 12% chance, albeit our uh, leader is starting to pick up dready things Once for murdering too many people, which I kind of understand, and it's it's kind of a useful tool in fairness to get authority up, but a little bit a little bit quick, unfortunately. You shall be an infidel no longer. No longer an infidel. Right, we'll send this army north across to, to Constantinople. That'd be marvellous. And otherwise, it's a bit of infrastructure. Um, now, we need a huge stone up wall. Huge stone up wall upgrade. I am so dyslexic sometimes. It's ridiculous. Uh, the huge stone wall upgrade there. Number of unit kit upkeep. Now, I've noticed subdiamond militia don't seem to be counted as actual militia. Um, it's a little bit irritating. It isn't the files that you can set. Um, this is a very simple yes or no to say if they're able to be used as free upkeep. Just in the, I think it's the export underscore units file that I looked at very recently in one of my guide videos. Um, but yeah, I, it doesn't seem that they're actually activated, which is a bit annoying. If I noticed that, I would have reset that before I started, because I wouldn't mind having Sabadar Militia 2. Over here we can get five upkeep units, so I might as well have some Halbred in there as well. Not really any troops going to come at me over here, but it's worth it anyway. Um, I'm at that point now where you start to have enough troops that uh, you really... I'm just going to get the shake stables actually. Um, yeah, well you need to just start looking at the icons to remind yourself which towns actually do or don't have buildings being put in them right now. Because whilst I, I do keep a very low um, amount of money in my coffers at all times, I'm actually generating plenty. I pretty much had all these t towns over the last 15 turns 20 turns even just constantly producing um but it's just a matter of kind of just spending the money really it's uh kind of the name of the game at this point i'm just gonna get the masjid there i'm probably at some point seeing going to cheat for a imam because i can't actually recruit them and yeah and another thing i didn't really notice before i started this a um, bit of an oversight on my part i did so much editing work to set up this campaign and um I, I forgot about a few of the simple things like that. I gave myself one to start, but I didn't realise I couldn't recruit them, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but yes, it's just worth going around and getting myself a few upgrades. It's worth getting the mining now that I can afford it. Kaisaria needs to continue growing. Sultan stables there would be nice. Yeah, the stables are a funny thing, because most of the time on Medieval 2 Total War, they're pretty useless. Because most of the time in your castles, you get things like your horse arches anyway. So then in my, you know, I can actually get those from the horse racing in the cities. And then if I actually end up going over to castle and over to stables, you know, it's like horse archers. Now I can get more horse archers. So it's a little bit redundant most of the time, but we can actually get ourselves some elephants. Um, and elephant artillery. So there is actually a use for our stables. Most units do in fairness have like one unit you get out of the stables that you can't get out of the normal castle upgrade. But... On the whole, it's not a lot, and it's honestly not really worthwhile ever building it, which is a bit odd considering how OP they were in Rainbow Sport, and to be honest, how OP they kind of are in this as well. I haven't actually got much money left to spend, so I'm just trying to think carefully where I'm going to spend at this point. Ashisha Den is always useful, it's nice to get agents out and about around the map. Yerevan and Tbilisi are absolutely fine. Yeah, to be fair, most towns do now have some work going on probably worth in Jerusalem to get the full shisha house just to keep that running so we're down to low money i do have myself a load of merchants i think we get another one over here yep magnificent it's always a good place for merchants around there and around here as well egypt is great for merchants africa in general actually because you have these these cities down here Arguan as all of the ivory, gold and slaves in the world is magnificent. So actually the Portuguese economy is going to be really strong because we've got this. And they've got in the uh, distance over here. Oh, we can see it. I wasn't sure if we could. Yeah, they have all the resources over here, which uh, they'll be making like 800 a pop on. Um, if they're clever enough to actually have any merchants. So um, I'm just going to check if there's nothing else I've got to do. But we'll head into the next turn. On to our next turn then, and it's worth sending this spy along just to have a look-see. 
Durazo is at this point a fortress, so yeah, it's doing much better than it normally is on this game. It usually doesn't get anywhere at any point. But again, no troops seem to be in that direction, which very much works for me. Now, I was getting myself another spy over here, so if you get on the boat and you start heading this direction, we'll just, uh, we'll just swing along. I don't know why I went quite that wide out, but there we are. What's done is done. Send you back. Ah, there's actually a little fleet over we here. Will not surrender these waters easily. You will surrender them, sir, and you'll surrender them now. Good, we won. Um, not a very high chance to win there. As we said, we do have terrible ships, I think. 516. Are they actually any worse? Yes, they're a lot worse than their war galleys. That is for certain. Well, we'll continue to send them over in this direction. Did I have something I wanted to do? Yes, I had a spy who I wanted to do stuff and things with. We'll just send him in this general direction. That will be grand. Rote isn't very happy, but in fairness, it is upgrading right now. Um, not perfect for a castle. Doesn't happen very often, but we'll get away with it in the short term at least. So, Rackleon, as it just settles down, we get a building or two set up. We'll um, just give it that couple turns to settle down before we send them round to Duraza and seal up the kind of Greek-ish peninsula. Um, now our assassin, our assassin. We'll keep the alarm around because he's useful to us. Have a go. Probably won't work. Obviously failed. Never likely to work that. But it's fine. We'll head in anyway. We can actually assault um, large stone walls. Honestly, with those units for the walls and only like these two units, probably not worth it. Get ourselves some siege equipment. A good idea. A few ladders, a few towers. Honestly, the ram is not even going to be worth it. We'll just shoot at the ballista if we need to. And that'll be grand. Now, Pavik's crossbow militia. This is where we're starting to come across some of the more western units because obviously we've been facing a lot of the Turks and the Egyptians. A lot of cav, a lot of terrible infantry. Starting to get these horrendous lads, particularly the Italian factions. Pavik's crossbows are demonic. You can actually get these as the rebels. I enjoyed using them quite a lot. Bit of its armor, long range. Um, 614, they can hold their own in melee and missile of 12. When it's 12 with long range and effects against armour, it is absolutely brutal. Um, obviously the archers aren't the same apart from, I guess, the English longbowmen or the Lithuanian archers who are all right as well. They can also use stakes. Only 12 of these, didn't notice that actually. It's about a feudal knight, some proper heavy infantry that we cannot really match. We've got some decent lads here you can really hold up. And these guys to hold a line. That's what we really need our infantry to do, in fairness. But yeah, we can't. In a slugging match against a full unit of those, we're not going to do anything. And indeed, the Spear Militia, pretty solid. They've got themselves five experience. Um, not doing what it is in Rome to avoid. It doesn't just add on five to each of its stats like it would do on there. So that's really going to be about their morale and just kind of their staying power, really. That's going to make them an awful lot stronger. Um, in general, though, not really much going on in terms of uh, anything in our way. Sophia's still looking strong. Hungarians, I noticed our relations went down to poor again, or like very poor. It just keeps on going down. I didn't patch the um, I didn't patch the uh, the diplomacy issue on this particularly. Although partly just because with the Timurids, and honestly, I think the whole role play is going to be of smash and smash and smash again. So. We'll stick to that, I think. Four turns until that goes down. And in general, it's just a case of moving everyone forward that little bit more. Now, Milanese... Would you be a good one just to start us off the assassination? Just going to find someone to kill just to train them up. 28 is a bit low, but we'll give it a go. No! Oh, well. Not the end of the world. It was actually Milanese, not Venetian. Oh, well. It's fine. They're actually, they could cause some problems in that battle, but we'll hover around and see if they want to take the bait. And as for this guy, ah, there's a nice captain to kill. 63%. Rubbish. Absolutely useless, man. Right, well, we'll get on with that in good time, won't we? So Thessalonica under siege. Rhodes is kind of getting a bit stronger. Heraklion is just going to settle down in a few turns. Let's see what happens from here. A new Aha! Gunpowder is now a thing, Gun which is um this dark powder interesting because uh, obviously we when brought to spark, we it we in theory the can use the artillery and elephants already if we had the right infrastructure. In fact, that is uh, something that I'm obviously going to kind of focus on at this point. 
um, somewhere that's big enough, such as Corinth, might be a good place for it, actually, especially as a place to kind of send troops from. Corinth is quite a nice spot. Um, minimizing castles, of course, but that wouldn't be a bad place for it anyway. There aren't really, there's not really any resources on here to make it particularly good for trading, to be fair. Um, right, gunpowder units. I don't think that really affects our roster, to be honest. I'm not sure how that affects us. Um, in terms of city, 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 do we have anything like that? I'm not sure we do. Oh, we do get, obviously, these. I have actually started building a couple of these here and there. Makes a big cost for training. Oh, the retraining cost is by 40%. I forgot about that little effect there. Yeah, I'm not actually sure we get those at all. Get the hatchback. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know about this one. Interesting. Interesting. Um, hmm. Never seen that one before. Intriguing. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time playing as the Islamic factions, actually, on this game. Um, we're supposed to have assassinated someone, but we've got him under siege anyway, so that's not really an issue. Construction report. We've got a few mosques here or there because we can't actually control that particularly well currently. Marriage celebrations, whatever, not really bothered. Feels unappreciated. Well, everyone does get over it. Dungler has grown. We'll get that upgraded in good time. Something else just grew last turn. I ran out of money. Was it Dana? No, it wasn't. I think that just got completed. We'll get the warehouse there instead. I think it was Mosul. Yes, I did actually manage to afford that one. So there's no issue there. Okay. Um, most advanced faction just flips between us and the Holy Roman Empire pretty much every turn. Military is only second to the Mongols as well as the finances. That's quite terrifying from how finances are going around the empires, but okay. Bulgar is under siege, but they are really bumbling at beyond beyond the normal measure of bumbling that they do. So I could attack the force here, but um, there's a lot going on. I'm not sure that's a sensible plan. I might just... Yeah, I could just stand here. My men have no orders to engage your force. I will just do that. That'd be fine. We'll try and assassinate this random captain again. Wow, our assassins are terrible. 63%. Twice he failed and got himself killed. Um, impressive. Impressive indeed. Now, I did send away... I actually have been getting tons of spies here. I mean, mean to send them off. So we'll send these two over here. And we'll start sending them back off in that direction. Probably means we can't win this battle now, but we should. There we go. They have cleared off once more. We will hunt them down next turn. They'll probably now end up going for this lad, won't they? Oh, well. Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll send a spy over to Corfu. And nothing really of interest going on here either. If we just send him over towards Ragusa... That will really be what we need to know. I so, Venetian spy. Can we assassinate you? No, not really. It doesn't look like it at all. Um, French diplomat. Oh, you're fun to kill. I might actually have a chat. Kill the rebel brigand. There we go. There's some success. Someone's useful, aren't they? Exquisite blade. This guy's actually shaping up quite nicely. He's got himself a black stallion. Catamite. And an exquisite blade. Nice work, nice work. He's looking good. Head over to Durazo, get us better eyes on that. And there is a general for you to have a go at killing. We have three... No, not even at three yet, but he's got... A... He's alright, he's alright. He's got plus from retinue for the assassination. So he's actually got a better amount than it actually looks like. Because, um, yeah, that plus one to assassination is there. Thessalonica, Thessalonica, Thessalonica. How we do with equipment? Three, three, and we've got some siege works as well. We'll definitely be to head into there this turn. That certainly seems like it's the case. We'll just make sure we get some dismounted heavy archers there on the road as well. We'll convert that to a city, I think, pretty soon. We'll just make sure things are tied up. Now, what I wouldn't mind doing is creating a bit of a revolt on uh, Cyprus and claiming that for myself. Might be something I think about. I need to get my Imam sorted. So um, if I go and add some Imams into my armies and go and uh, cause some public order issues. It is a, it's, um, it's a castle actually, isn't it? Darn, it's not a town. Even though it kind of looks like a town there. But even so, yeah, the castle might be hard to make revolt. But we can have a go with lots of spies, some sabotage and things like that. I wouldn't mind that one flipping over to me. They might well wage war in the meantime, but 
for now, we are we're amiable. We're amiable, aren't we? Okay, not too bad. We'll give a bit of a bribe to them. Bit of money. Have another thousand. I don't need it. You probably do. You probably just slightly paid their debt for them. Now we're back to poor. That's fine. <laughs> give them a thousand too. Not quite changing. But um, that's fine. Now what I can really do is sending some of these diplomats a little bit further afield. So if you can start to run across to Italy, that'd be lovely. Actually, run across here, then you can be picked up with a boat next turn, which would be quite useful, actually. Let's head into Thessalonica then. Take out uh, this next Venetian force. Uh, Miguel Selva needs to go down. He actually looks like he's decent. He's got himself a bodyguard, which might be my fault. Fine armour, plus four. That could be horrible to face on the plaza. Um, hey, he's actually a decent leader, isn't he? He's not bad at all. He's become a bit aloof. Um, that's suspicious these days. That's probably because of me. Uh, yeah, I think he's probably sat in this town too long. He's starting to become a little bit aloof, but that's that's fine. Um, that's probably come with my assassination attempts. So, so bold and confident and command this man can lead an angry mod to conquer an empire. Well, that looks like what he's doing right now. We'll, um, we'll send him in, and actually at 30, he's a young man with 5 experience already and 9 command. Um, as I said, they have a few units on the walls. We'll just be able to overpower them, I think. We might have to be a little bit clever about it. Let's go. So, as we get started then, they've got some police crossbowmen on, yeah, on that wall over there. We'll try and get you into here. You into here. We're just going to get some guys nice and wide. These archers might be able to get a side shot in on them. They might just abandon the walls. Um, the general's sort of hovering at the gate, interestingly. Uh, this guy will just shoot boulders in and smash up buildings, apparently. Um, I'm just going to try and hit these chaps if he indeed can. Just aim for the wall, to be fair, but you might hit them and you might make them fall down. That'd be perfect for us. Uh, you, sir, swing into there. You, sir, swing into this wall. We'll just try and cover as many bases as possible. And we'll see what they do in the meantime. Uh, these Pavis crossbowmen are running very quickly over to this area. But they seem to have stopped, actually, which is interesting. I want to try and get up the tower to try and cancel it out in good time. If I can properly take control of it, it'll very much help my lads in that tower. It won't burn down and we can also just make sure that we uh, don't get shot by this tower because these will just shoot oh, in at us endlessly and Our endlessly and endlessly. Enemy, even when they so hide. if these halberds could really hurry up that would be lovely. Then we can try and get ourselves over here. Which would be lovely. Come on, quickly rush and take control of that tower. Stop us getting shot. Whilst we go and deal with these police lads. At least they'll stop shooting in that case. Now the archers over here potentially can do some good work. We'll see. They might just be in support, but we'll see how that actually goes. They are getting themselves up there. These lads can start doing a similar kind of job. Ah, that tower burnt down right there. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away! They're burning down, sirs! Get out of here! Uh, if it collapses before they get out, they're going to die. They just managed to escape. Well done, lads. Well done. This gate is getting shot, but not quickly enough. Just kind of hide yourself at the wall here. You can come and help out at another point. They look like they are abandoning the wall. The beast crossbowmen over there have given up. It's only these ones who are still fighting. Hellbreds are doing a bit of work, but um, this tower's still theirs. Why is it shooting? I should have control of that. Sometimes I get a bit irritated by this. Because this tower right now will be shooting at... If I can ever get to see it. It should be. Yeah, look, it's shooting at me, but I should have complete control of it. Ridiculous. They're actually in range. Just get some shots on them. Make it fire just to make them more likely to flee. And otherwise... We're looking fairly good. So both of those burnt down. And I missed that. Oh, the Oninger's still shooting at it. Stop what you're doing. I think we sh we shot our own. Oh, I missed it. We shot our own tower with our Oninger. And it collapsed on all of our men. 
Well, that's a unit gone, isn't it? That was clever, wasn't it, Thomas? Yes, it was. Very, very clever indeed. Um, <laughs> that is exceptional. Right, well, shoot down those spear militias since they're going to stand there. That works for us. Um, competency is uh, in high, high, uh, high order over here. Um, oh, they're fleeing, so that's good. We now can go capture the tower, which is marvellous. Okay, these archers can go and get themselves placed over here in the wall and we can start shooting them down. Looks like they're giving up on the wall at this point. These guys over here just hanging out of the pub. Um, that's a, I think you're missing the danger, which is all of these chaps up on the roof here shooting at you. Yeah, they're, they're not doing very well. <laughs> the ground is paved with... Uh, the shields of of these uh, Venetian chaps. They're not they're not they're not doing so great. Not doing great at all. Uh, as for the rest of them, they're hanging out around the uh, the walls here. We've got ourselves our lovely chaps here. If the if the yeah if the crossbowmen come near, they get shot by lads on the wall here. Probably best to turn a fire. We're going to start setting fire to the town for no good reason. But in general, we have managed to do this with fairly minimal losses, apart from obviously blowing up, <laughs> smashing our own tower. I'm so sad. I missed that. Uh, I'm too busy watching this one burn down at the time, I think. That's a bit sad, isn't it? I could do this the dull way by putting the spikes in the middle of the town, using all my archers to drown them in arrows. But no, I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to do that. The Hellbreds will just stand there just to reinforce if needed. But no, I'm going to send my two generals in. Get yourselves a proper gallant charge. And let's go and take on this man properly. You've got fine armour, he's got fine armour. We're going to take him out. We're just going to charge straight into him, actually. He's right here at the front. Come on, lads. Let's do it. It seems to think we've run into one guy. That was the worst charge in history, lads. That was absolutely terrible. Let's let's pull out and let's do that properly, shall we? It's going to follow one of us, I suppose. But, um... Oh, there we go. Right. Charge him. It's going to put a charge in. There goes the lance. It worked that time, sort of. There we go. Right, well, with their awkward little buffer there annoying me, uh, we can get on with this. Hopefully we'll both survive. Um, yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> Those extra hit points. And he went down nice and easily without too many problems. Still 12 of them left, but we have a lot of experience. We were very unlucky to lose one of our generals here, really. Um, this guy's a bit too promising to be risking, but you know, I think you got to earn your stripes. Our men are in command of the city. We are indeed, there's not many of them left. And the last few men to be chopped down. And with that, another Venetian town absolutely slaughtered. Ignore that one unit of militia who were destroyed by our own artillery. Uh, <laughs> that didn't happen. Okay. Um, Thessalonica then taken marvelous and with that that is a yet another city and what do we want to do immediately a small bit of damage to the wall but not very much um i think honestly a spy would be nice just to get us going and look at that no land clearance just get the land clearance lads ridiculous okay we do have a spy over here, though, who can certainly swing over to Constantinople. Seems to be Tom Constantinople, of course. And with Thessalonica gone, we are starting to look like um, we're mopping them up. But, uh, yes, I'm kind of wondering where their force is, because they don't seem to have anything gone, whatsoever. Do I'm doing quite a lot about it in the last few turns, mate. Right, time to get a little bit of infrastructure work done, then. Corinth is getting its main citadel upgrade. You are one turn from that, but you've got the uh, the mosque following it afterwards. You'll get that upgrade done, and after it, just get your mosque as well. Over in Iconium, we want to continue with um, just the general economic things, but Shisha House, would that be worthwhile? Probably not. Let's get the dockyard. They're always useful to get. These are our seas now. Over in a hippo, one turn left for that particular one. We'll um, yeah, we'll get the Dunamon and Mara. That'll be useful. And otherwise, we can just swing around these towns. Only one turn left over here. Um, honestly, not an awful lot. Get the bazaar. That's using up quite a lot of our money. But the dockyard's useful there. And in Odessa, we've also got one turn left. Might as well start thinking about... Um, no, not that. 
the uh, yeah, look at the masjid as well. Just might as well sew up the religion. How is the religion looking in this part of the world? See, it's very, very strong over this end. We'll get ourselves more and more of that kind of nonsense. Upgrades over here. I would honestly think, oh, the way the Wayfarer's Rest. That's nice. I haven't got up to that one yet. And is there anything more important in Tbilisi in the meantime? Honestly, no, but I think just getting working on the stables would be a good plan in the meantime. Okay, things looking very good. I'll mop around the map and catch you on the next turn. And we are going to have an attack from the lovely Egyptians. Um, one to one ratio here. Now, what I did do is I put it under siege with Drew, and now we've managed to face them a little bit more fairly, I think. This should be good. They've got some gold experience among these. Some, some triple gold chevrons, I should say. Nine experience. And we have no experience at all. In fact, this isn't even a proper army. This is really a reinforcement army. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll take out one force. And then the reinforcements a bit after. Very similar forces. A bit scrappy. No generals to wipe out most of their forces. Let's go. Well, with a colossal amount of archers, I think this hill is going to look very good for me. Might as well get my cav swinging forward straight into their archer militia. Most of my units off skirmish mode, by the way, but these lads will... Uh, these guys can continue. You can go swing over to that road. There's quite a nice road, bit wonky on the hill. It's a nice T-junction there. Can't complain with that. Now, these cav can just go straight into these archers. Who, um, please, by the way... Everyone, to start shooting the Mamelukes. Please don't shoot our cav. And the charge is just going to annihilate them. That's marvellous. Keep charging on to the next militia. That very much suits me. Then we go on to loose formation. Just keep things busy. All of you guys, just kind of charge at who you want. Please carry on moving. They're very sluggish, aren't they? Until I've been playing uh, Rome because that was uh, incredibly slow. Charging into these Mamelukes then, hopefully catching a few units as we do. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous. In general, there is actually one bit of Armenian cavalry charging into us, into our archers actually, who are doing some auxiliary work at the front there. You charge into those Armenian cav from the rear, and these guys are just gonna hopefully pull these people out of the way largely. We'll start surrounding them in good time too. It's just a bit pulled out, aren't they? I'm way too used to playing um, Rome Total War right now. Pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. Now, the general over here. I'm just, just going round into these lands for a moment just to keep them busy. They're now fighting to the death. Just pull them out. And general, you can... Yeah, just charge into those Armenians. So, with these guys kind of pulled out quite a lot, it's probably time to try and uh, swing back all of these guys into the battle. So you guys hit those Saracen Militia. Be fine, it's just going to be the charge unless I completely forget. Ballistas can get rammed down. And over here we'll take out those chaps. General is indeed mopping up all of these fellas. I hope the archers focus on the men who are actually in battle. Battle archers, please aim for those laddies over there. Perfect, those ballistas are going to go down to our chaps. And the cavalry might as well start to swing. Actually, cavalry, probably a good idea to start getting yourself onto this flank, I think. Indeed, they do, indeed, they do. All of these archers go and do that. General, come and take out these chaps. Archers, come and intercept them. They're out in anyway, that's fine, you go and do that. So if these cav can just swing into these laddies, we can, yeah, I think largely speaking at this point, just go and set up um, my horse is actually to go and chase off those mamelukes. So you go and chase off them, you go and chase those archers, and as for the rest of my cav, we can just regather them towards this area where they can start to take them out. Archers, if you can stop shooting now, that would be perfect because I really would like you to not be killing all of our lads. You can just pin those Mamelukes, that would be ideal, but we might just miss them. Might just miss them. Right, on the whole, we have cleared off that first force. We do need to just make sure these Onagers are not firing into us. They've done some heavy damage on one of my Archer units. 
Um, don't want that to keep up. So, nicely just in time there. Yeah, they're just starting to pull back. They can go and deal with those chaps. They're stuck in melee at last. They might lose because they're very experienced. Should be fine though. Generals charged straight to the centre. Well done, sir. You're a true hero. Uh, all these cab can just start charging to these lads. And in general, actually, we need this force over here to just swing around a little bit like that, please. Yeah, actually, just a little bit more across the hill here. So as you go and do that, we will send our cab to just mop up the rear and we'll deal with them nice and easily, I think. If our archers back on fire at will, they can hopefully just take out most of the uh, these lads in front of them. That will go rather perfectly for us. We just need to get our cavalry out of this melee at this point. So they're getting themselves a little bit stuck. These ones are fine. They're just taking on the Mameluks. They can finish them off. Keep chasing them down. Stay away from the infantry. And our archers will do the job in the meantime. Look at that. This huge hill in front of them. They're not happy at all. No, they are not. They will melt pretty much immediately. But you have got yourselves caught, which seems to always happen on this with cavalry. Get out of the way. Right, just swing back over there. We'll let the archers do their work from here on in. And yeah, we've got the same over on this flank as well. We'll start mopping them up. The archers can hopefully reach those Saracen militia over there. That'd be perfect. Turkish lads, actually no, the Sabadar militia, you can head on to yeah, shoot them down as well. The enemy badly. They have only half their men left. Go and mop up what you can, please. Please go and catch them before they all flee. It'd be quite irritating if they um, all get away at this point. Now, with these, yeah, with the Saracen, there's Spear militia, okay. Not a lot left to go and take care of there. Um, they're all actual heavy cav. The Turkish archers can all focus their work on these lads. That'll be ideal. But otherwise, it's just a case of mopping up whatever you can here. Yeah, it's that unit. has got themselves trapped. You head after the ballista. Don't want to face those if at all possible. And otherwise, yeah, just a few people. It's just a, it's just a case of making the last unit here route, I think. And I don't think they're going to last very long. They are not going to last long. Whatsoever. So with these chaps running in, that's going to do all we need. And I think that's the full route at this point. Um, just a few stragglers around the map to just make sure we mop up. Because that full, yeah, that's a half unit of ballista there just trying to clear off. We'll catch them out without any real problems, I think. There we go. Sit him with the old women where he belongs. Yes, the old women is where he belongs. Right, archers, all of you stop shooting and just charge on your person. That is officially everyone. We will indeed do that, sir. And, yeah, we've lost quite a lot of these heavy lances in the Khan's guard, haven't we? Um, Khan's guard, yeah, there they are. Uh, just a few then to chase down, but on the whole we've cleared them off fairly efficiently here, 50%, 91%, that means that they'll get completely wiped off the map. So we'll send the last few men to go and just clear them off, but with that is a pretty big victory in Constantinople, Tom Stantinople, sorry, is looking pretty close to capture. Our enemy is no more. They are no more. A clear, victory. clear victory and a bodyguard gained three experience. He really threw himself into the mire there, but he stood up to it with his fine armour. Oh. No, 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 no. Execution for them all. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Merchants Guild headquarters in Antioch. Yes, I'll be having that, thank you. And Constantinople is put under siege. We will soon have Constantinople under my grasp. Antioch has itself an upgrade, which is what we very much are looking for. We'll get ourselves, we'll get ourselves the Sultan's Palace. That's quite helpful in fairness. And there was something else that grew. Mosul also grew. Get yourself the Sheikh's Stable. And that'll be perfect. 
Okay, in general, things are looking very good for us. We will get ourselves organized next time. One thing I will point out, the Milanese have done the classic Milanese things and just dumped troops right in front of you just to be absolute fiends. Um, we'll do what we can to defend the town then, uh, but it might be might be an interesting one. I'll get the ballista actually, we'll see if we can hold them off. That could be a lot of fun. Do we have a boat here to send troops? No, we don't. So, we want to defend against them with just a few units we've got, which could be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll get on to that next time, where I hope we'll be able to start recruiting some um, of our marvellous, marvellous, what you calls them. Oh, we've got the Baron's table, so we're not far off getting our elephants, which is what we want. So, next time we'll fight the Milanese, hopefully. Uh, we will go and take Durazo. It does turn out that Ragusa has itself a proper army. Um, small chance of an assassination here. Failure. We could have killed the Russian princess. <sighs> but you've only got two charm, love, so unfortunately you're not all that good, are you? So, uh, yeah, with the Egyptians near um, near the end of their existence, we will uh, we will leave it. One turn to surrender here, one turn to be heading to Constantinople, and not long until we go take Durazo, fight off, finish at Ragusa, and see what we can do with the Milanese. Oh, it's all coming to a head now. It is most marvellous, but uh, you'll join me all for that next time. I'm Thomas, this is Tenor's Team, and this has been our Timurid campaign. Thank you, and goodbye. Let us have a moment for Domino then, a giant of a commander who, frankly, I completely let down. Yeah! Yes! That was so good! We'll shoot them as they land. Ow! Oh, no, we're fine! Everything is fine! Panic over! It's only a horde of Vikings, it's not actually a problem.